Welcome to Unfamiliar Readings, where I, Dr Octavia Cox, read aloud underloved texts. A reading of Jane Austen's Juvenilia, one of her detached pieces from volume the first. A beautiful description of the different effects of sensibility on different minds, written in about 1793. I am but just returned from Melissa's bedside, and in my life, though it has been a pretty long one, and I have, during the course of it, been at many bedsides, I never saw so affecting an object as she exhibits. She lies wrapped in a book muslin bedgown, a chambre gauze shift, and a French net nightcap. Sir William is constantly at her bedside, The only repose he takes is on the sofa in the drawing room, where, for five minutes every fortnight, he remains in an imperfect slumber, starting up every moment and exclaiming, Oh, Melissa! Ah, Melissa! Then, sinking down again, he raises his left arm and scratches his head. Poor Mrs Burnaby is beyond measure afflicted. She sighs every now and then that is, about once a week, while the melancholy child says every moment, Melissa, how are you? The lovely sisters are much to be pitied. Julia is ever lamenting the situation of her friend, while lying behind her pillow and supporting her head. Maria, more mild in her grief, talks of going to town next week, And Anna is always recurring to the pleasures we once enjoyed when Melissa was well. I am usually at the fire cooking some little delicacy for the unhappy invalid. Perhaps hashing up the remains of an old duck, toasting some cheese or making a curry, which are the favourite dishes of our poor friend. In these situations, we were this morning surprised by receiving a visit from Dr. Dokins. I am come to see Melissa, said he. How is she? Very weak indeed, said the fainting Melissa. Very weak, replied the punning doctor. Ay, indeed, it is more than a very week since you have taken to your bed. How is your appetite? Bad, very bad, said Julia. That is very bad, replied he. Are her spirits good, madam? So poorly, sir, that we are obliged to strengthen her with cordials every minute. Well then, she receives spirits from you being with her. Does she sleep? Scarcely ever and ever scarcely, I suppose, when she does. Poor thing. Does she think of dying? She has not strength to think at all. Nay, then, she cannot think to have strength. A reading of Jane Austen's Juvenilian piece, a beautiful description of the different effects of sensibility on different minds, written in about... 1793.